the musical monkey somewhere in india in a village on the edge of the forest a golden bell rang out from the temple twice a day to scare away bad spirits the villagers thought the bell was the most precious possession and took it it turns to clean it and make it sparkle and shine and but but a golden bell attracts attention and one night a greedy robber decided to steal it the robber carried it in the forest but he didn't get far because the jangling of the bell aroused the curiosity of a hungry tiger which chased him the robber dropped the bell in terror and ran off his life that same night a troop of mischievous monkeys found the bell and carried it to the forest hideaway When the villagers woke the next morning and realized the golden bell had gone missing, they thought it was a bad woman. Oh, oh! They cried. Now we will have no good luck at all. The bad spirits will haunt us forever. That night, when the villagers went to bed, the monkeys started to ring their new bell. They did this jingle, so they took it turns to play it. The clang of the bell carried through the still night air, and the monkeys get more excited. The clang got louder until. Every villager had been woken. Oh, oh! They wept. We knew it. The bad spirits are haunting us now. The monkeys loved the new bell and got quite good at playing t- tunes on it. So every night the same thing happened. Soon the villagers were quaking with fear of the thought of what the bad spirits might do next. Some packed up their belongings to move to another village. I can only get worse, they said. But there was one young woman who wasn't afraid. She thought they were being silly. I don't believe this. Has anything to do with bad spirits? She decided. One night, nobody could sleep as the bell was so loud. The villagers stood in a square, worrying about what the bad spirits would do next. So the young woman said, "Let me get rid of the bad spirits. I'll make an offering to the gods. Fill my basket with many as fruits and nuts as you can, and as I will go to that forest." And the villagers were grateful for her courage and piled her basket with the sweetest fruits and tastiest nuts they could find. As they walked, they walked into the forest, and towards the sound of the bell, they shivered with fear. However, the young woman wasn't afraid. She followed the moonlight path deep into the trees, following the tuneful melody. She even whistled along with it. It was a catchy tune. Finally, she stepped into the clearing and found a troop of monkeys playing with the bell as they couldn't help laughing out loud. They were squeaking, up to ring it. Some were using twigs to play the bell like a drum, and some were putting funny faces at it using. Shine surface as the mirror. So you are our bad spirit, she said. Quickly, she scattered the contents of the basket around the clearing. The monkeys abandoned the golden bell, straight away and rushed over the fields. While they busy filling the tummies, the young woman took the bell and set off the home again. When the villagers saw her emerge from the trees of the golden bell, with they rushed to thank her. They were amazed by her bravery. Did you see the spirits? They asked. Were they terrifying? Not exactly, said the young woman. She explained everything you see. That's usually perfect, simple explanation for even the strangest thing. And I think I have to be frightened of that all. The villagers still thought she was incredibly brave and wise too. As a reward, they made her the guardian of the golden bell. They were never again bothered by bad spirits or even musical monkeys. The young woman thought was a great pity.